Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here in the Boneyard in Oral Blues. Last time we took out the, well, basically the Shady Sands Republic's own territory of Scorpions and some of the Shady Sand Republic territory, and we gave that a little bit to, of course, the Grabra territory. So, now what are we doing? Well, we're struggling for manpower. Right now we are missing a few hundred men to garrison the little uh, spots of our resistance and we need some infantry equipment so right now we're training we're hanging out eventually i do want us to go to war with the hub i don't think that the confederacy of the day glow is really ready to go to war with me just yet so we'll see what happens if they go to war with baja california then maybe we'll go to war with them but anyways someone had a suggestion of that i should just role play the nation of the boneyard instead of just justifying and conquering people which could work but i could sit here for like like five six episodes and not conquer anyone except through focuses and that's okay but i like a little action in my life i don't want to see my enemies get powerful i want to take out my enemies stomp them to the ground maybe a little bit but anyways we've got some political power i'm going to go ahead and last time we got some wasteland militias actually could i how much is it going to cost a core that's not bad Ten thousand isn't great really uh, Ten thousand, twenty thousand. that's not bad at all mm, cost 247 though I think it's best for us to at least increase our compliance gain for now. So let's go with Outsider Auxiliaries. We have Join, Serve, Protect. We're mobilizing. We're hanging out. We have a few APCs. We have a little ship here. Very nice. Very nice. A little light cruiser. Very good. And Troll War Declare 1 Marrow Drinkers. Very nice. We need to definitely build up our industry, though. Definitely need to build up our industry, which is looking okay. we got some biplane fighters. So yesterday, I also asked you guys, should I use close air support? Or bombers. I also asked whether we should use special forces or power armor. Now, there is support on all sides. And actually, someone wants me to use laser weaponry instead of energy weaponry instead of ballistics. So, I'm probably going to go with energy because it had the most support. We had more support for stripped power armor, just power armor in general, than recon or, you know, special forces. And for planes, we also had a little bit more support for close air support, which is what we're going to choose next. So, maybe in the next campaign, we'll use some tactical bombers. Maybe we'll use special forces. I have no idea. I have no idea at the time of this recording what the next campaign will be. So, but I hope you're all having a great day as we are recovering from our last war and researching our land docking. Let's see. Mm, I'm probably going to go with trooper warfare this time. It just, I think that's probably a better one. The other side, it's okay. This one just gives you more manpower, which I really wasn't aiming for more manpower right now, but I guess it helps. We're going to have a lot of manpower by the time we're done here. A lot of manpower. But right now, we are... Yeah, our manpower needs are going down. The infantry equipment needs are also going down. But, so, with this focus tree, we really don't have a lot of rooms for expansion. That's why we have to manually go to war. Join, serve, protect. That's good. A professional army. Morningstar mining code. Clear one. Klamath. That's interesting. Lion for service. Expand the boneyard walls. None of this really gives us very much. Dynamite's very fun to play with, though. Well, hmm, I suppose so. Let's get some healing powder. That's very good. We can only get point, wow, point, point eight six. Holy cow, that's not very good. That's really not good. Holy smokes. Point eight six a day? Jeez. Mm, upgrades for guns, or naval stuff. Sure, why not? We're training naval stuff. You know what? I, I always train my navy. But in Oral Blues at the time of this recording, there's really not much too much of a use for the Navy, except for a couple of particular nations. Now, that manpower's looking pretty nice. That's pretty good. <sighs> but so, with this focus tree, there's really not a lot. The City of Angels, of course, we are the City of Angels, resurrected from them. We have Revel to the south. We could bury the hatchet or prepare for the inevitable, where we do get Unity in the Boneyard or send an ambassador, or trade agreements with them. Oh, we created the Southern League, but uh, the second Bone Day, Boneyard Day Glow War, which is pretty much the only real nation here, which is a little disappointing, not going to lie. Uh, let's do a safer Boneyard, Professional Army. Hmm. Let's go with the gangs of the Boneyard. So, the Boneyard is plagued by dozens of raider gangs that prey upon the weak. Our government believes that the first major step towards restoring the Boneyard to its former glory is to deal with these gangs as quickly as possible to ensure prosperity within the Boneyard. How we are able to do this is up to us. Actually, do we have a penalty for having gangs? We got gun runners, of course. Oh, raider troubles. That'll be removed within two years, though. 
Good. Let the scientist in. No, no, not really. No, no, not really. Of course, followers are here immediately as soon as we started up this campaign, but that's okay. Right now, we got a little bit of army XP. What are we going to do with that? So, we're probably going to go with power armor. So, no spec ops this campaign. Maybe in the next one. So, you guys looking okay. Actually, our infantry, you are not a very good combat with. We have a little bit of guns, so, so let's use and abuse them if we can. We do have some dynamite, too. Hmm. Dynamite is so good. I love dynamite. Let's go and throw you right there. Uh, we'll actually do that first. Okay, just make one. We'll probably just build up infantry for now. It's cheap, it's effective, it's normal. And then we'll get some demo support equipment and other stuff like that. Gangs of the Boneyard, very good. Do we employ the gangs or crush the gangs? Hmm. Employ the gangs. I think it's probably better to crush the gangs. What happened to the music? Hold on. Hmm. Let's go with that one. Factory output, a safer boneyard, attack defense on core territory. Let's get some more stability. Let's do that. A safer boneyard. So, with the state militia successfully organized into a large and capable fighting force, this is all, of course, due to our frequent border patrols. Raiders rarely attempt to move into our lands, and when they do, they are quickly hunted down before they can do much damage, which is a good thing. And we could probably go with. That's just. Once you get to outsider battalions, you get so much manpower, it's so nice. But let's go ahead and start just stuffing on these guys if we can. How much would take? Oh, yeah, that's not bad. How strong are these guys? Okay, more manpower than us. The 5 to 37 divisions, that's that's a big old range. So we're going to take out the hub, probably. And then we'll take out the Brotherhood, if we get enough anti-tank. She are doing well. They're doing okay. They're trying to fight the tanker vagrants. Vault City's killing off Antelope's tribes. The Morningstar Mining Co., which looks really cool. Whoa. Crystal, fair shot. What are you up to? Huh. Future. Is this a unique focus tree kind of? It's a little bit unique, but... Democratic propaganda? I like that. Hmm. Baron's Republic. Anyone else? A Navajo Nation Blackfoot. Anything going on down there? No. Dago is still struggling against the Rapids. You know what? Can I... Do we have any planes? Hold on. Do we have any planes to send them? I don't think we do, but... That would be really cool if we did. Actually, send you over here first. Uh, and then, air base. That's not ours. Up here. Nope, we have no planes. I would love to send them air volunteers to really make these guys struggle. That would be really nice. But man, in California, we don't. We really don't get a lot of political power, which is disappointing. I wish we had more. Really wish we had more. Oh well. A safer boneyard for all. Oh, so now we can see their division template. Well, they have infantry battalions. Is that it? I hope that's it. Yeah. Cool. That's good for us then. Because you guys will have a good time with them. Throw you right here as well. Let them link up. And then we're going to split these guys in half. Healing powder. Very good. Take... Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Next up, we shall grab... That's okay. Close air support. Bombers, transport planes, special force stuff would be good to do as well. Um, we don't even have power armor, so it doesn't even really matter if we do that yet. I'm going to grab some of this. Oh, let's get some industry. And oh, I've done none of this stuff. I completely ignored it. Oh, my goodness. Let's get over here. Good. Let's grab you, and let's throw you right there. Oh, they're, they're fighting a lot of people, huh? There you go. Small encirclements to begin. Very small, very, very small. A safer boneyard. Uh, let's see. A professional army. Looks like we get a great bonus, so. The boneyard's militia has kept us alive this far and will, without a doubt, continue to do so. Now, however, we are capable of officially creating the boneyard army. Having an official and fully capable army will allow us to defend ourselves even against the organized nations that surround us. Wow, look at that manpower. Holy cow. That's a lot of manpower. 5,000? Hmm. Oh. I guess we just created another APC. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, do that too. Add two at a time. That's good. Come to the Boneyard. Militia is Fort Summers. Cool. We still have some of these super mutants, which is kind of cool as well. we are only 20 combat with. We definitely need more. How much longer do we have? We're going to probably train our... Yeah, let's train our soldiers. Go and train if we need to. That'd be good. And we also need another leader. 
It's only 12 combat, 12 political power. Less, ooh, less speed for APCs. Ooh, oh, uh, I mean, I guess. That's, that's not really great. Is there anyone that gives us more speed, division speed? Probably not. Recovery rate. Supply. Actually, was it gun nuts? Organization loss. Eh. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Anything else around here? You get more attack. I like the attack, but that can wait. We have no research advisor. Artillery, we, that's pretty useless for us. I really like... Freeman's Fixers. But, war industrialists... We're only building up civilian factory stuff, we're still. And we probably would just get all the military factories we need through conquest, perhaps? Maybe not? Maybe, maybe not? Let's do that up there. And I'll probably end up coring one of these states. Just to start getting rid of some resistance and stuff. So, the ranch declaring war on ten signs. Ooh, Fort Summer's technocracy isn't doing very well. That's disappointing. Let's see, you guys. Kimmel Station, you fighting... She? Are you okay, she? I mean, you haven't finished a war over there yet. How are the Hobologists? The cultist. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a generic focus tree. That's alright, though. That's okay. Warren looking oh, the Marlock traps looking pretty good. Who do they take out? Do they take out anyone? Maybe not. That looks pretty good. But then Bone Dancers. Ooh, combat language good. Timberline. I wish they had a focus tree. <clears throat> Bone Dancers. Do we know which way they're going? No. No, oh, that's okay, though. That's okay. Oregon Trails. A prepared defense. Very good. Some more hard attack. I like hard attacks. A professional army. Ra the Raider Threat. That might be good to do. So the rise of the mutants and other threats have proven to be a major threat to the very existence of the Boneyard. If we are to ever become the power that we are meant to be, we must deal with these groups peacefully or even violently. Ooh, the reservation. Ooh. I don't think you guys have a focus tree. Ah, Colonel Green is a ghoul. It goes Antelope Tribes. Oh, well, it looks kind of fun, though. Even though it's kind of a generic focus tree, it looks, still looks like fun. Soldiers of the Rock. Knights of the Rock, I mean. There we go. You guys can stop training. This shouldn't be a very long war, and let's go ahead. Not like we have air power anyway, so boom, and then boom. String telephones. And can they pierce us? Nope. Ah, very good. Very good. Yep, let them attack us. That's fine with me. As we attack them, having a good time. A great time. And they don't want to take that long. We could stretch out our line a little bit more, but they're doing okay, regardless. You guys can have guys that way. There you go. Ah, resistors. Good. I'm going to have some of that. Better reinforce rate. And there you go. Go ahead and kill these guys off. Get up there, perhaps. Get up there. Get up there. You guys go down there. That'll be okay. Yeah. Not bad. Really, we need some more army XP. That's really the thing we're, I'm looking for here. Good. Very good. <sighs> Beautiful. Boom, there you go. Reform the front line. Shift yourselves around. And then shift you guys around as well. How many men have we lost? We've lost about six. Not bad, versus 700. And next up. Oh, they can't even cover the entire line. Hmm. Well, we can take out one division here, I suppose. Oh, oh, there's a whole backing up there. Well then, maybe I should have looked at that before. Oh, I just realized that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a little different. Well, if you guys attack, you should be able to win regardless. Maybe. In some areas. Secret language. I totally ignored the top of this entire area. Completely ignored it. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to have you guys just come this way. Cut them all off. There you go. That was my fault. Holy cow. Pain train, ranchers, gonna try and train. Ah, get that supply. There you go. If you can just cut these guys off, that'd be great. Well, maybe we stop attacking then? Uh, let's still tell all of these folks to kind of hold. You guys are probably doing okay. Alright, guys, you actually gotta 
work on this a little better. Thank you. Come to Junk Town. I totally missed this. This was my fault over here. Yeah, no, you're gonna have to move this way and then come over there and then over there. And... There you go. Something like that. Go and hold for now. Nice. And circle the dude. Draw worn. Very good. Alright, well, they're attacking us. Well, we can attack them this way. Please come in here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just go to the hub. Cut those guys off. Thank you. And throw some more infantry this way. That would be great. Don't let them move. There will be no movement here. The Raider Thrust. The Mutants. Oh, the rival to the south. Hmm. How about a city in anarchy? The Boneyard is in a constant state of anarchy with robberies, murder, and rape going unpunished across the city. If we are ever to get the city's population to trust us, we must return stability to the city. Nice. Hey, we even made another encirclement right here. Great. Good, take Junk Town. Head on down there. Oh boy. Reference manuals, good. Grab some more research speed. Good. They just obliterated them. Love it. Don't let them heal up. And now we've lost... Ah, that's actually not too bad. Oh, we got over 9,000 9, manpower. That's really not too bad at all. Come on, get down here quickly. More quickly, come on. Next time we I go into war, I should really pay attention to how many enemies we're trying to kill off. I should probably pay attention. Good. Now I'll terminate with extreme prejudice and have a good time. Good, good. Engine order telegraph. You can probably hold for now and get that. Good. Even though the infantry are suffering casualties, I'm kind of okay with it just because uh, I want more army XP. And 30, well, that's quite a bit. That's not enough. Go ahead and move in if you can. Just come to the hub. Alright. Very good. Get two more. Let's see. You guys have anything over here? Ah, something for the front. Bone Yard forces have fought heroically against our enemies. And one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We could play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. War support or political part. I'm going to go with war support just because it looks a little low right now. I think that'd be quite ideal. Oh. Or just combine them, you know, guys. Yeah, I could do that. There you go. Good. Let you guys just come to the hub. Oh, we're going to need some more fire teams. Holy smokes. Hmm. We're going to need some anti tank, too. Good. Very good. And we took the hub. If you get rid of these guys, you can circle and destroy these guys, probably. Unless, yeah, they do have a. A little bit of a port right there, Super Mutants. How are you doing? Ah, there they go, finally. That was a little bit more surprising to say the least. Now, you are the Grabber Territory, which I'm going to ignore. The Western Brotherhood is a group that I'm not really going to ignore because, well, they're probably fairly tanky. So, that being said, we got to focus a lot more on anti-tank right now. A lot more. Triplane Attackers as well. That'd be good eventually. We got 277. Let's see, rioters, not bad. Let's throw one group on there. Thank you. And now we shall do this. Have you guys keep them down. And then y'all, where's, oh, they do have islands. You can do this, one guy, just one guy, probably be enough for that. And then everyone else comes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, but might come right there. And then come that way and cut him cut him off. We might see that that would be the best. Can do that. Smoke signals, very good, very good. Industry wise, not bad. Long fifteen isn't really worth pouring yet. Up here. Oh, 21,000. We need 257. So be it. So be it. A city in anarchy. We almost have a more stability. Actually, 
Ooh, I could spend 100 political power to go this way, but I'll go to the well equipped army. A city in anarchy, though. Good. Oh, BNS police. That's kind of cool. The mutants? The Catali Catalinians? Okay, okay. Ah, factory's good. So expand Aditum's industrial sector. Aditum is the center of the Boneyard's economy, housing the original inhabitants of the demonstration vaults as well as their advanced technology. With a little work, we could easily expand their industrial sector for the benefits of the state. Absolutely. Absolutely. Economic advisor, very good. Manpower looking very nice. Very, very nice. So right now, we're making a few demo teams. We definitely need more anti-tank. We need a lot of things, really. You guys is going to put a big old deficit in our budget, but that's okay. Just throw in a few more of these guys, that'd be fine. Actually, if I replace you with fire teams, you lose... Yeah, you lose stuff, so... Now we're going to need more guns. But we have enough. We have 1.7 thousand. Wow. Can I sell them, maybe? Yes. Good. Ask up settlements. And we will grab that. More encryption. Now, how many... It doesn't look like they have enough divisions, really. Yeah, maybe they do. Oh! The Cult of Steel is a Brotherhood Protectorate. Oh, so you be, you join the brother? That's interesting, huh? Once I capitulate these guys, I still have a little... Uh, our fleet might be actually better than them. You know what? This looks very interesting. Now, it's going to take a while for us to get a war with them, but that's okay. We need time to build up our forces. Let us go ahead and return to training as well as training for you guys. Our fleet is... Well, how is our fleet? Diablo Devils... Oh, they're having a little... Uh, a little crisis among themselves. You guys. Uh, yeah. That'd be good. Go ahead and train. Damage a screening. Very good. Wow. Hold on. Before you let them go on. So you're the Diablo Devils, led, led by Abner Pope, and then... Almost... I almost said Carrot Garnet. Or Gar... Yeah, Garnet. Huh. Our legends. Alright. And then you guys are just Cruel Heartland. Same thing. Basically same focus tree. Demilitarization. Oh, my son. Let's get some more water, too, actually. That would be very good. Get a little water. Oh, no. I, I, don't, I never like it when they get annexed. Well, Blackfoot is dead as well. The Navajo Nation's looking pretty darn strong. I don't think I've ever seen the Navajo Nation become this strong. Huh. 80s are killing... Well, hold on. The 80s are trying to kill off New Hammond, but New Hammond is saying no, 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 no. Less supply use. Good. McCain's looking pretty good. Timekeepers. Do the timekeepers have their own focus tree? Overwatch talk? No, they do not. The timekeepers do no. We have any time over there. Cult of Seal. Let's take them out. Let's expand ourselves as well a little bit more with Industrialize the Downtown. The downtown region of the Boneyard has long been plagued with the Raider gangs, but we believe that with a little work, we should be capable of repairing the factories in the downtown region and get them working in no time. Oh, encoded signals, very nice. Let us grab some more construction speed. Okay, keep building yourselves up. Build, build, build. A vacuum tubes. Radio. Primitive radio. <sighs> more divisions. Lovely. We have a little bit of army XP. Isn't bad. Let's see. APC. How much support equipment do we have? We have... We're not making any more, which isn't good. Oh, okay, so... Wait, hold on, the the Rapids won? Okay, the last time I saw, they were up here. Oh, oh. Well then, that is quite peculiar. Yeah, they're not really ready for that. They're much more ready for uh, demo teams than anything else right now. Wow, I was not expecting this. I'm really not expecting that, holy cow. That's a little crazy. Um, a little disappointed that Dayglow died that fast. Rival to the south. Prepare for the inevitable. Um, well then. How strong are you, uh, Rapids? You don't have a big navy. You got a couple divisions. Run River Runners. 4,000 manpower. I'm I'm a little impressed, but I'm, like I said, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for 
Maybe a bigger enemy? A, a, str a strong day glow? Oh. I think we found a lot of their divisions now. Um, yeah. Now they're looking pretty mighty. Yeah, they're looking pretty mighty. Hmm. This is going to be a war that's not going to be easy. There goes Kimmel Station. New Vegas declared war on Jacobstown. Huh. Light signals, okay. Well, let's also do some naval docking stuff, because that's important to do as well. And get some better ships, too. Yeah, fighting against these guys wouldn't be very easy. Hmm. What we're going to have to do is get level 2 piercing for them. For the Brotherhood. Uh, air base. Production, that's better. Gliders, that's okay. Old World Military, basic training courses. We get more soft attack. Infantry equipment. Soft attack. Lee's plan. Sca oh, scavenge power armor. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Boneyard wall. Critical population. We get some police officers, maybe. Hmm. Factory up. Let's get create the boneyard police force. So the LA Police Department was one of these streets safe, and we can believe that it can once again under a new name. Or patrol the streets to make them safe. The Boneyard Police Force will ensure that troublemakers are dealt with and sh show the people of the city that we stand with them. Yes. We need 50% war support. Good. Let's see. Piercing? Okay, how much? Hmm. We do have piercing on these guys. That's 24. That might not be enough for the Brotherhood armor. That really might not be enough. 116. Holy cow. Nice. We're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw in a military factory here. 30, 30, 30, 30. 40. Look at that. There we go. Sell some... Up. How much infantry going do we have? That's... In, let's hold on to our stuff first. Lowers our construction speed just by a smidgen. I'm worried that they will actually be able to beat us up pretty quickly, but we're going to go with army offense. Good. You guys are looking okay. Uh, let's see. So, mutants are on the right, infantry is on the left. Infantry is 20 combat width, while the mutants are not. So we have a little more soft attack, more hard attack, more HP, more organization, more s they, they take more supply. Piercing's pretty good. Everything else is pretty common down here. Breakthrough is even higher than the mutants. So, I guess at this point, we could probably convert these guys to regular infantry. That'd probably be okay. But we need more demo equipment, so. Thank you, mutants. Uh, integrated Master's Remnants. I appreciate everything that you've done, but your check is not in the mail. Hmm. Vault City joined... Ah, Vault City joined the Nevada pack. That's interesting. Let's grab some of this as well. That'd be good. Now let's grab some of this infantry stuff. Good. Primitive radio. Oh, actually, how, how long is that going to take? Uh, let's do this one first. 60. Boneyards. The Boneyard's looking pretty good, not going to lie. I am really liking how we're looking here. Create the Boneyard Police Force. Next up, we shall do establish the rule of law. The Boneyard's police force has led to a sharp decline in crime within the city, but it's not enough. And as such, we've ordered the city's police forces to conduct daily patrols through known areas of crime with the orders to kill any criminals on sight. Are they committing a crime? If they are, you just shoot. Don't ask, just start shooting. That's what we do in the Boneyard. Demo equipment. Anti-tank. When do I get this next one done? Oh, that's not too bad. Thanks. But we need more army... Oh, we don't even get daily army XP. Armor-wise. Hmm. Some more of that. This is looking pretty good, actually. Let's switch you over, maybe, to rioters? Do we have enough divisions for this? It looks like we do! Great! Great! We don't need you anymore, then. Probably not. That might have been a bad idea to get rid of all that, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever. We're still making enough of that. If that's the case, come down here. If that's the case, come down here. If that's the case, we need some more of this, and we need some more of that. Go ahead and do that. Thank you. Vault City is being very, very aggressive. We'll make some planes as well. That'd be good. Don't do that for now. That's a bad idea to do that, but whatever. Uh, stay over there. Stay over there. Because we need a lot more of this stuff down here. Come on. Going to war with these guys is probably a terrible idea. If anything, grab me one more of you guys and come right there. There you go. I would love to see how much piercing that we can get on these guys. Supply use goes down. Goes up for some militia, but that's okay. 10% more piercing is going to come in handy, and more heart attack will also come in handy as well. 
we can stop focusing on this stuff for now. Let's go back to the land doctrine real quick and get some better recovery rate. Awesome. More divisions will be very helpful. Give me one of you guys and come right there. They're not even guarding their entire line, which is promising. I can cut off Maxin from everyone else. Let's see. Yep, I knew we'd go to war very soon, and let's put you guys up. There you go. You want to do that because everyone's going to stop doing that and repair. Repair, repair, repair. And we need to go to war by April 7th, which isn't bad. Isn't bad whatsoever. Ah, uh, we've established a rule of law. I hope they'll declare war on Ashen. Very cool. Raise the standard of living. With our police department cutting down on crime in the city, we have noticed a sharp increase in the city's standard of living, allowing the citizens, city, city citizens to slowly return back to normal lives. We get stability and more factory output, which is absolutely delightful. So are you guys done yet? We should be able to pick apart the enemy's fleet. We should be able to. Go and do that. You need to definitely come here. Three, two, for the love of God, please don't tell me I made a mistake going to war with these guys. Yeah, but we might have. But we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. And then have you guys come there. And then have you guys start attacking that infantry division. Are they attacking us? Yes, they are. Certain areas around this line aren't looking very good. We can make the capital fall, though, which would be good. And we just capture the capital. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, the capital is Maxon, which I am trying to cut off. But they're busy just kind of hanging out here. Now we can't pierce them, they can't pierce us. You know what? Then don't go that way. Come here. Help them attack. If I can cut off Maxon from everyone else, and that just is pretty much the end of these guys. Good. Now they're gonna be pushing through our line. Actually, can we even pierce them? No, even with like anti-tank. It's still not enough. Their armor's 30. That's pretty tanky. Come on, guys, you gotta hurry up. Good. Happy guys, go straight there. Just go straight up. Move, 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 move. Good. Now, we've cut Maxon off from everyone else. That They should not be getting that much supply, and that's the main thing here. Oh, uh, actually, you guys... You guys stay here. There you go. There you go. Nice. And I'll have you... You guys just take out this area. Good. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a problem, but, you know, what else is new? Seriously, man? You begin attacking them. These guys are going to start starving for supplies. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Get, get rid of that, too. Cut that division off. Go up there. Take all their land away, because they don't need it where they're going. Let that division die. Let our guys focus down here as much as they possibly can. I am glad we got rid of those guys, though. Like, cut off Maxon from everyone else. That's a good. That's a really good idea. We cut off into a division. Awesome. Destroy that power armor division. We can pierce them. Good. And it is dying. Don't tell me power armor is invincible, because obviously we've just proven that it is not. It is far from impenetrable. And if we could come through here, that'd be awesome as well. You guys can actually just hold Seth Papas. Inspirational guy. Quite inspirational. Can uh, infantry attack defense. Uh, I go with local leader. Are we still training here? I don't want you to train, man. That's a really bad idea. An incredibly bad idea. Go ahead and kill these guys off, too. That'd be good. And you guys should be starving for supplies. Well, should is a key word. Alright, two more divisions. Good. Because Maxin is still the capital. Get rid of those guys. Uh, you move up. You also... See if you can cut these guys off. You might be able to. Oh, they got lots of those bunkers back. Well, if that's the case, we'll kill everyone down here then. It'll make it much easier to kill everyone down here. Good, good, good. Resources. Let's grab some of that. Oh, we got encircled. Gonna do that. Uh, they keep abandoning their home. Um, okay. So you guys should easily be able to just kill everyone here. 
because supply is an issue for them. Better reinforce rate. Good, good, good. Wait. Oh, we took the capital again. Well, all right then. You're gonna help just bust through here immediately. Oh man, they're destroying that division. No! You piece of garbage! Oh, look at that. Now that's beautiful. Yes, crush them. Crush them right here. These guys should be getting zero supply. Good. Hold them there. Ah, raise the standard of living. A good idea. But let's how about we employ scavenging games? Militias. How about establishing militias hierarchy? So our militia, although united, under the state, lacks any formal chain of command, making it nothing more than an unorganized mass of barely trained soldiers. If we're ever going to turn this into a truly capable, capable militia, we need to establish a militia hierarchy. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, an encirclement. Die now. Da, da, da. I knew the Brotherhood was going to be a little bit of a challenge, so... This is okay. We struggle, we struggle, but that's okay. Hey, an encirclement. Just what we want. You kill my soldiers, I obliterate yours. Ah, beautiful. Kill them off. Focus... Ah, focus fire. I'm going to immediately go ahead and get that. Now, is that raise or piercing power? 26.4. Not much more. But every bit helps. Grab a Ah, oh, the boomer is interesting. Good, cut that one division off. It ain't much, but it's a single division that must die. Actually, Cal I'm probably taking a lot of. Eh, I'm only at a thousand. That's not bad. The brotherhood's about to capitulate too, which is good. Which is very good. Yeah, take him out. No, 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 no. You don't just do that. If you want to die with them, go be it. Go die with them, then. I'll cut these guys in half, too. There you go. You want a death, I give you death. You're not moving, son. Come this way, come that way, that'd be good. And let you guys come down here, too. Ah. Good. Another division encircled. And an entire group over here encircled, too. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Well, probably the Cal this is California's toughest group so to beat. Especially early game. Oof. Alright, so we're not exactly winning here. I want everyone here to, like, hold. So you guys, and take you off. Hold. Oh, Seth Papas, you got something for us? Gun nut, robotics, and eh, do that one. Please stop moving. There you go. Now defend this area as best you can. Because every- Oh! Well, never mind. Kill them. They took back the city. They Now they get literally no supply. I know I've said that I've said that a lot in this episode, but it's just true. What a bunch of fools these people are. And I'm gonna purposely not take Lost Hills bunkers so we can kill these guys off. Hey, at least we got a lot of army XP, which is good. We've lost a couple guys, but where we're going, it'll be okay. Okay, now why would you go to war with those guys? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. And also, apparently when I when I when I went to when I went to war with the Scorpions yesterday, or in the last video, uh, the Shady Sands Republic has an early war goal against them, so that's why they, uh, my focus, my decision to go to war with them went away because they also took a piece of territory from the Scorpions that I justified on, so that's why. Cool. I'm, we're doing pretty well down here. Excuse me. Please go. Good. 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 Go straight to Maxon. Oh, the capture of Lincoln. Very good. Very good. The Mormons are being very, very aggressive right now. As they should be. 16 divisions. Please do not give them any rest. And I will end this episode once these guys are dead. 
Good, and let's do... Let's crush the gangs. Let's crush them. During or destroying the gangs of the Boneyard will be no easy task, and will no doubt cost us hundreds, if not thousands, of lives. However, it will show that the population of the city that we will fight for them. Uh, let me go ahead and record that piece of territory. Thank you. Less resistance. Purposely leaving the capital for last, of course. Because these guys, they don't need supplies. This looks really bad, honestly. Go ahead. Go ahead. It looks like we got encircled, but we're not. If you can take Maxon, then they literally have no supply in there. Cool. Crush the Rippers. The, that gang earned their name due to their brutality towards their enemies. They frequently conducted massive raids on the people of the Boneyard and frequently left or leave entire towns in ruins. However, a small military action against them would leave them would be difficult as a number in the low thousands. Well, we're having difficulties right now, but that's okay. Or you guys can just go this way. Come on, come on. Great. Crush them. Kill every single one of them. Come on, get in there. Ah, good, they're dying. No mercy towards the Brotherhood. Uh, oh, there's a number. There you go. Oh, we might need more guns. We lost 2,000. Yeah. Crush Rippers. They discovered our plans to annihilate them and decided to attack us first. They are marching in the hundreds towards Town Hall as we speak. Well, that's unfortunate, but at this point, I don't really care. I want to kill off the Brotherhood. Yeah, just go ahead and take a lot of smunker, and that's it. My goodness, that took forever, but... Uh, these guys really don't deserve anything, so I'm going to take it all, and I'm going to tell you... I hope you enjoyed today's episode! If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, when we shall continue expanding our influence in California, and having a good time with each other. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day!